By the way, um, in examination, you re you, do you still remember? You remember the arc, right? Anybody here use cylindrical coordinate? All right. It's not wrong to use cylindrical coordinate. But if you use cylindrical coordinate, you have V theta. Right? You have V theta. And you do not have VR. Okay? If you look into R direction, most of the term will be dropped, except this term. How about pressure? You have arc. Does pressure change with respect to R? If you have flow in something like this. Do you think pressure change with respect to R? If you're not sure, just keep it, right? Normally. So we can drop every term regarding VR, except this term, keep the pressure, and then the rest would have VR. This term would drop as well. You neglect like gravity. So you end up with this equal to that. So again, does pressure change with R? Of course, because this term is not zero. So you end up with pressure change with respect to R. Also, when you look into theta, pressure does change with respect to theta. Pressure here is P0, pressure there is PL. So it does change with respect to zeta. So you mean you get pressure as a function of R and zeta. That means you can no longer use, you can no longer set up equation like d pressure by d zeta equal to something. This is function of zeta only. This is function of R only. You can never do that because this one is partial differential. It's not total differential anymore. So anybody use cylindrical coordinate with this, mathematically, it is extremely hard. It's not wrong. I say it again, it's not wrong. You can do that, you can solve that, but it is very hard to solve, okay? I'm going to put up the solution in front of my office real soon so that you will know what should you expect. All right, let's go back to our uh, problem. We have equation of motion. Let's start dropping terms. In this problem, VR is zero. V zeta is zero. We have VC only. So VR, zero. Zero here, zero there, zero. V set is zero. This term is zero. So this left hand side becomes zero. Does pressure change with respect to R? If you do not know, keep it. This term, VR is zero. Zero here, zero there, V set is zero. There is no gravity in R direction. So therefore, 
pressure does not change with respect to R. You get that from the first equation. Second equation, then we say that it's zero. Zero here, zero there, there, there. Left hand side is zero. Pressure is definitely does not change with zeta. So this term is zero. V zeta is zero. Vr is zero. No gravity in zeta. So you end up with zero equal to zero. Right? For z direction, steady state assumption here, Vr is zero. V zeta is zero. Vc does not change with respect to z from equation of continuity. This term is dropped. So left hand side is zero again. Now pressure do change with respect to z. This term must be kept. And then this term Okay, we see that's not chain with respect to zeta. That's not chain with respect to z, and we have gravity. All right, so that's it from equation of motion. We're done with the equation of continuity. We're done with equation of motion. Next step would be equation of internal energy. Now, from equation of, con um, equation of energy, this term on the left is basically rho Cp dt by d time. d substantial t, the whole thing here is dt by d time. Okay? So you have rho Cp dt by d time equal to this term is simply K Laplacian T. It is conduction for cylindrical coordinate. And then this term is dissipation, heat dissipation. If you write down complete equation, you have another term, the differential of logarithm of density with respect to logarithm of time. Um, of pressure, all right? But under assumption that our fluid has constant density, density does not change significantly, then the term with differential of logarithm can be dropped. That term becomes zero, okay? Normally, in this course, we mostly concern the fluid to be liquid. All right, so in that case, equation would be reduced to this form. 
the whole equation here is written in your appendix. This term may be included depending on your problem. Okay? So in the form, this term would appear. But the term written about the change in density will be dropped. Now, this term alone can be written as following. The dissipation It is long, isn't it? But if you look into the form of equation, the form looks something like Newton's law. You have differential velocity in z with respect to zeta, and then velocity is zeta with respect to z. Just like Newton's law. And you also have 2 over 3, something like this. So you can guess that this term is a result of bringing Newton's law into the term tau double dot uh, v. This tau can be replaced using Newton's laws. Okay? So equation like this can be written under assumption that your fluid is Newtonian fluid. Double dot del V. I'm sorry. <laughs> 